Just a few months ago, Ben Ingram worked for a more traditional world of finance, in charge of digital strategy for PricewaterhouseCoopers. Now the CEO of Bitcoin Australia, he spoke with our reporter Heidi Cuthbert about where the crypto exchange is headed. Hi Ben, firstly congratulations on the new role and, uh, and welcome to the show. If I can, can you just start by telling us a little bit about Bitcoin Australia? Sure. Well, first, um, I want to thank you for having us on the show. Uh, we're really excited about what Coincast is going to deliver to the world in terms of education, understanding about Bitcoin, uh, which brings us to what we do as a company, um, very aligned with Coincast in that we provide people with information about Bitcoin and Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. Um, uh, obviously, we provide commercial services, which is the easiest way for Australians to buy and sell uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, but also we work closely with government departments to develop the regulatory frameworks for cryptocurrencies and their role in financial services and products. So Ben, if you can, tell me how Bitcoin Australia is different to some of the other exchanges. So first and foremost, we operate the primary Bitcoin domains in Australia, the UK, Canada and a host of other countries. So as such, we provide uh, information about the currencies and how to operate and buy them in those countries. Um, but beyond that, uh, in Australia, we operate a retail network where people can buy and sell Bitcoin for cash over the counter at over 1200 news agencies. And online, we offer payment services in partnership with Australia Post via Poly. So you can buy Bitcoin simply and in a matter of minutes have your first Bitcoins in your wallet. So Ben, you said last month that you're considering adding crypto investments into Australia's pool of superannuation. Can you elaborate on that and explain to me how that might work? Oh, well, first we're introducing uh, a streamlined process to help people set up their self-managed super funds and that's with the correct mandates in place to enable people to invest in cryptocurrencies. Um, in the longer term, we're working with uh, fund, crypto fund Apollo on the possibility of including their funders, uh, something that can be invested in via superannuation and in the longer term, uh, perhaps even a fully managed crypto superannuation fund. So Ben, what else is on the horizon for Bitcoin Australia? Uh, we've got a super exciting year ahead and um, that includes opening local operations in around 30 countries. Uh, so big international expansion for us as an Australian company and we're really proud of the success that we're achieving. Um, but I think in the, the near term, we'll be expanding the range of financial services that maybe people would have traditionally looked to banks or other providers for, leveraging the power of Bitcoin. Uh, so that'll include things like merchant services with near instant settlement, international transfers, and again, uh, really reducing the time or providing near instant settlement of transfers to anywhere in the world. Thank you, Ben Ingram, the new CEO of Bitcoin Australia. Back to you in the studio, Chris. Thank you very much.